Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I wanted to quickly go over how the URL for function works when you're dealing with blueprints. So I have the code that I wrote a couple of days ago for a different video. And in this code, I have blueprints. So I have two blueprints. I have the main blueprint and I have the models blueprint, or I should say the auth blueprint. I opened the wrong file. So auth and main are the two blueprints I have. And you can see here, I register them. So the first place you can see me using a URL is here. So the way that the URL for a function works in Flask when you have blueprints is you have to reference the name of the blueprint first, then a dot, and then the name of the function. So if you don't use a blueprint, then you can simply reference the name of the function. But because you have blueprints, Flask needs to know where to look. So it will start with the blueprint and then the function. So if you look in the templates here, uh, I have the base template. I have the main.index, main.profile, auth.login, and auth.signup, and auth.logout. So two of these are for the main blueprint, and the other two, three are for the auth blueprint. So this is the most specific way of doing it by referencing the name of the blueprint, dot, uh, whatever. But if you are in the same blueprint, then you don't necessarily need to include the name of the blueprint because Flask can figure it out. So if I go to something like auth, I have here on my signup post, I have a redirect to auth.login. Since the login function is in the same blueprint, which is up here, I don't necessarily need to include the auth. I could do this instead, dot login and the code would be exactly the same. I only have to refer in full to other blueprints. So I have to include main because I'm not in the main blueprint, but dot login, I can just have dot sign up and dot login here. So whatever you prefer, you can use. And just know you have to have that period there because that represents a blueprint. You're not including the name of the blueprint, but you are referencing a blueprint. If you are using regular functions, that's when you take away the period. So I just wanted to clarify that in this video for anyone who was a little confused on how they worked. I hope that helps anyone using blueprints in their projects. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.